Yo, what's going on guys? My name is John and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be going over why 2 pro for you games or Adam, is wrong about Call of Duty Zombies dying. He says the zombies community is dying. And I do have my personal opinions on this. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. But first, actually, I'm going to get a new mic. It's just, Right now, it's just horrible. So we're going to get a new mic, guys, really soon. Anyways, enjoy the Blood of the Dead gameplay in the background. And I'm going to be going over everything why 2 pro for you games or Adam is wrong. So guys, one of the first reasons is... He says it's dying because of all the blue screen issues. I don't know about you. I'm not like... Probably the biggest reason why my game has only crashed one time is because I don't do anything. Like, literally, I don't do anything in Black Ops 4. I don't go for the Easter eggs yet. But, um... Yeah, like... It, I can see where he's coming from, but my game's only crashed one time, and I don't even know why. It was when I got to around 40 on um, the map 9. I don't really know why it crashed, but it just kind of did. And to him saying that this is the end of zombies, like, most normal people that play this game, they're not going to encounter an issue like that. Because most people that play this game aren't going to try for all the Easter eggs. Like, a casual zombie player is just going to get out there, see what round they can get to by by doing all this stuff, you know, opening up pack a bunch, and that's most likely 10 out of, 9 out of 10 games is not going to crash your game. I He does have a valid point, though, if you do want to go over Easter eggs or anything like that, it 100%, there's a big chance your game might tr crash, but they're obviously fixing it as much as they can. They've already added in a few, um, gigabyte updates that is allowing them to make the game not crash and that's basically how they're going to try and improve on this now the second point is that i don't understand this one like he says that people aren't really going to be playing the game too much because they don't enjoy it honestly like my friends like these kids that have played zombies or i mean multiplayer and fortnite their entire times they're basically done with Fortnite and switching over to Zombies because they like the game, they like how it plays, and they're just not a big fan of Fortnite, and that's that's true. Fortnite has huge problems, we know this, but we're not going over it apparently because everyone just seems to think Fortnite's the best game ever, and apparently people don't think there's anything ever wrong with Fortnite, and there's huge things that are wrong with Fortnite. Spam weapons, the fan base. But there's just so much stuff that's just wrong with Fortnite. And Call of Duty is, like, really good, guys. Really good game. And a lot of my friends are playing this game, and they've never played BO1, BO2, BO3. They never got to experience, what, Ascension, Call of the Dead, all those maps, Moon. They never got to experience that, and now they're coming out here for the first time playing Blood of the Dead and all this. And they're liking it more than Fortnite. And... This is kind of my reason why I think that it people actually do enjoy this game more than people think. People think that this game is just garbage for some reason. One of the biggest arguments that I hear is there's no jug. And at first when I heard there was no jug in Black Ops 4, I really thought, dang, that's going to be a huge problem, you know? The only thing that I could think of was Infinite Warfare Zombies. And I was like, oh no, this is going to just be horrible. And I was like... If there is no Juggernog, it's going to be a huge problem. And then I saw, with Black Ops 3, Double Pack-A-Punch and Gobble Guns made the game really easy. The Rise and Drag, super easy map. Revelations, probably one of the easiest, two most easy maps of all time. Set up, get to whatever round you want, I don't care. And there was no challenge to it. BO2 was getting easy with Barry. And so I was like... And I kind of like this, and they could not have added Jug into this game. Or else it would be so easy, guys. We, we could get to around, I think, 100 on some maps. Super easy. I got to around 40 on 9 before my game crashed with literally no Jug. And th that might sound like a problem, but it's, it's really not, guys. As you can see, this is one thing that I hate. I don't like how all the zombies gang up on you to kill you there. 
but it's really okay. Not a huge problem. It can kill you definitely a lot if you're not a good zombies player. That's kind of why I died. But um, anyways, yeah, I just, I like, I don't know. I just really don't agree with two, what two pro few games or Adam was saying about call it the zombies community dying in a hole. Um, we obviously don't have everyone that we used to, like everyone that was in the Z house. We lost Pat, Fortnite. We lost a lot of people. Chucky, Chucky didn't really upload too much, anyways. But um, yeah, I'm just talking. We still got JC. We got Lex. We got Noah. Well, I guess Noah J is part time Fortnite. But we kind of have Noah J in a way. He likes it, I guess. We have Tim Hansen. Yeah, he's not in Z House, but still. He's a Zombies YouTuber, I guess. You could qualify him as a Call of Duty Zombies YouTuber. Also, we still have two pro for games, because he still enjoys to play the game, obviously. But he's just, I don't agree with the video that he made about it. <clears throat> he says why Zombies is dying. And I'm making this video says why two pro for games is wrong. You know, kind of. Hopefully, get him to respond to this video. Maybe, maybe that'd be pretty cool. But um, yeah, this game, this game's pretty sick. I like it a lot. Obviously, we still got two pro free games. And can we talk about custom mode? Cust I can't say that word, guys. Custom ability options. There's so much stuff you can do with the operator mods. You can put a like the strife. You can make that as your starting pistol with with a red dot sight and a knife mod on it like it's it's crazy the amount of things that you can do it's a one knife kill up to around five which can really help with doing challenges filling up the dogs on um blood of the dead there's so much good things that are impl implemented into this game that people tend to look by like they they're just looking for the blue screens and no one wants to talk about how good this game actually is no i don't agree with that i think this game's a fantastic game and yeah i don't think it's as good as black ops 2 in a sense like origins and mob of the dead but it's it's call of duty black ops 4 guys and there's nothing wrong with it except there is an occasional crash but it it's black ops 4 like there's nothing else we could have wanted dlc 1 is going to be sick if it is actually a mansion that's going to be sick with vampires I just hope they kind of stick to zombies because in 9 they're getting so many other things that aren't zombies. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully we can get this to two pro few games. Or Adam. I don't want to, you know, make him mad. So, yeah, I'm, so I'm sorry, two pro few games. I'm really sorry, man. But I watch your videos, dude. So, if you're watching, peace out.